it's okay. Hi everybody, it's your girl Sagan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this really quick and easy, not wearing so much makeup, but I did a little bit going for a quarantine walk look. Disclaimer, if you see a bit of mustache, don't worry about it. I'm growing up my hair, been taking vitamins, and I'm just trying to prepare myself for a video that you guys have been requesting. And it's how I do my brows and my mustache at home. So if you see my brows all over the place, if you see my mustache just poking through, trying to say hello, just say hi back. In fact, just give this video a like because it's intentional. I'm just trying to grow it out so I can show you guys how I remove it. Anyways, in today's video, I decided to do this quick and easy look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys have more video suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. But before we begin, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel just yet, please be sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and continue watching. Wait, are we recording? Ah, oh, we're recording, baby. I have my head. Wait, so I have. Did I put on deodorant? Oh, I did. I love the smell of my deodorant. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. All right, guys. So first things first, let's moisturize <laughs> my lips. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just really excited for this video because I've marked it down on like my to-do list for a really, really long time, but I've never gotten the chance to do it. So today is the day and it's going to be up today. Huh. May 25th and it will be live. So the lip mask I'm using is by Laneige. It's a sleeping mask, but I wear it during the day. It makes my lips feel so luscious. If you haven't watched my Amazon finds, go watch that. It's just perfect. So I'm gonna clip my hair back so it's away from my face. <laughs> I got some mixed reviews about that blonde wig. Um, a lot of you guys <laughs> loved it, and a lot of you guys were not here for it, so. Um, I took a break from it, but it will be back because it's still my favorite wig to date. This one I don't really like as much, but why not? Okay, so I'm going to do my brows slightly differently. I'm going to still use the got to be glue, still wait for it to set, but I'm not going to fill them in as much as I normally would. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to take that got to be glue, take a little bit on the back of my hand here. And I'm gonna take my spoolie from an old uh, Benefit Cosmetics, precisely my brow pencil, and I'm going to comb up my brows first and then apply the product. So I, I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of requests for a brow tutorial. So I am growing out my brows and my mustache, so I don't know how HD <laughs> this camera is, it's not. but. Um, if you guys see a little bit of like, you know, a shadow right over here, it's okay because I'm waiting for my hair to grow full throttle. That way I can show you guys how I do all of my grooming at home. <laughs> if you guys see a bit of growth or whatever, it's intentional because I want to do a full in-depth tutorial for you guys. So maybe I'll give it another week. I'm taking a lot of vitamins as well. So it's growing back like super fast. All right, so I'm just gonna brush it up. And then with that spoolie, I'm just gonna take a little bit of product and then comb my hair up, okay? I have the mic in front of me, but I'm gonna try to zoom in as, I'm gonna try to move up on the camera, but just comb it up. Yes. And quite honestly, if I'm doing like a natural, like I'm not wearing any makeup look, I typically just set my brows and I leave. <laughs> I kind of like when they're shaped and they're not drooping. As you can tell, like my brows, the hair is a bit long. Like if you guys can see, yeah, you guys can definitely see that part. That's where I trim it, but I'm gonna show you guys that in a tutorial coming up. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That way you guys know how to do your brows at home. So that's what I like to do. Make sure there's no excess. So 
that's one brow. I'm gonna do it over on my next brow. And I didn't use much product, so I'm just gonna use the rest. And I'm gonna comb it up, get that product in there. That way our brows aren't gonna move. As I showed you guys, my the hair on my brows are pretty long. Um, and when I sweat and when it's like really nice and hot outside, they droop down. So that's why it's really important for me to make sure that my brows are set that way it doesn't like come down like this. Like it's just, it's not, a, it's, trust me, it's not a cute look. It's really, really, really annoying. And it's something that my fiance always points out. And it's crazy because he doesn't, it's not like he notices like everything, but my brows, it's just so noticeable. Like they just, they're supposed to be like this, but they just kind of come down like this. And I'm just like, ugh. So to avoid that from happening, just make sure you set it. Whether you have glue or maybe like a brow setter, just use that. We want to get dolled up. We want to kind of feel good and it's nice outside. I'm probably going to go for a walk a little later on. Let me know what you guys are actually doing to kind of entertain yourselves or keep yourselves busy during quarantine. I discovered like a river by my house. I don't know if I mentioned this in previous videos, but during quarantine, I've been taking like walks and stuff. And when I tell you, like I'm full throttle, like Zen mode, I'm like, wait, it's like over an hour. It's like an hour walk, which is, which could be a lot to some, but I really, really love walking and I just got my bike. So <laughs> your girl's gonna be bike riding and whatever. So I'm kind of excited about that. I don't know why I have to share that. Oh, right. I'm the reason why I bring this up. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm really excited to record this. I mentioned this in almost all of my videos, but I heighten it during the summer months because it's really important to put on SPF. So that's what I'm gonna be putting on my face while my brows are drying. So yeah, so the SPF that I love to use, you guys already know, it's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. I mean, I'm down to explore other SPFs because I wanna give you guys options, but I think for the price, the amount of SPF that you get is like perfect. It's just up my alley and you can get it off of Amazon. So try to avoid getting it around your eye. What you don't want is to get it around your eyes, guys. We, it's not good. Just trying to get the hair out of the way because it's a bit annoying. All right, perfect. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Benefit, precisely my brow, and then I'm gonna fill in just a little bit. And when I tell you very little, very, very, very little. This brow is longer than this brow, so I'm gonna add a little bit more hair to the end and just a little bit more hair at the front because my brows aren't the same and this brow has everything I need and this brow doesn't. So all I'm really gonna try to do is match this brow to this brow as much as I can, but not put on too much product. So my brows are growing in. And I've recently started taking vitamins again because we were out of stock at the house. So I just started taking vitamins again and I'm noticing a change in my skin and my brows and my mustache is growing in like full throttle. Anyway. And for this brow, I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. Like that's all that I'm gonna do. So I'm going to add primer. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing the e.l.f. primer, but it's literally everywhere. I'm talking TikTok is like best primer ever. They sold out at Walmart, so I had to pick it up from Amazon. So I'll leave an Amazon link in the description box below. But it's only 10 bucks Canadian, and I'd imagine in the States it's about maybe $7. Don't worry about the color, it's gonna dry clear. It's gonna be all right. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some foundation, but very, very lightly, pretty much half a pump, because I just want very light coverage. Okay, so this is half a pump of foundation. And the foundation that I'm using is by Maybelline. It's the Super Stay Longwear Foundation. I wanna say like top five drugstore foundations. And look at that, like look how much coverage that gave me. Again, the primer is still setting, so don't worry about that so much. It's giving me the coverage that I need. Oh my God, it looks so cute on my walk. Can't wait. Just giving you guys a bit of a close up. So 
So for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Adria Wine Concealer and I'm going to use very little. I'm not going to use a lot. And I'm going to have it in the inner corner here and right over here, inner corner here and right over here. So to brighten it up a little bit, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Not a lot like how I would normally. I'm not interested in like highlighting my forehead, my nose and things like that. That's totally fine. We don't have to do that today. <laughs> so this is completely optional for you, but I'm going to actually take a little bit of bronzer and you can use a brown eyeshadow if you like, but I'm just going to use a bit of bronzer and use that as an eyeshadow. Now, because I have dark circles and my dark circles go like this, it's not just down here. Um, I kind of like how my eyelids look without eyeshadow, <laughs> um, but I'm just going to use a little bit to kind of give us that finished look. So I'm going to take my beauty sponge and I'm going to blend the concealer. The one thing that I feel like you have to keep in mind when you're using two different concealers is the dry time. Like I find that the CoverGirl concealer dries really, really, really quickly. And I find that the LA Girl Pro concealers that a lot of girls use also dries really quickly. So just be mindful of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my under eye with some translucent powder and I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder so I'm going to use that. I'm just going to make sure I have all the concealer blended out that way I'm not setting creases. I also like to set around my laugh line because that's where I get a lot of creases especially on this side. I don't know if I smile harder on this side. I think I do, but it cre like there's just like if I don't set with powder, like there would just be one big line. It's not cute. So remember to set. I'm gonna look so cute on this block. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I love to do is add a bit of blush because as you can see on my face, there's not really much of a pop of color. I was never really big on blushes. But as of lately, oh my god, I love, love, love blushes. My favorite blush, is it my favorite? No, yeah, it's my favorite. So my favorite blush is, oh my god, it's cracked too, it's so bad. It's the Wet n Wild blush in the color Percellent Pink. And what I really, really love about this blush is, I don't know if you can t catch it on camera, but it has like these like gold speckles in it. Because I'm not really big on highlight, I like that the blush kind of gives me a bit of highlight as well. It's so cute. So we're going to add that in on our cheeks and a bit of our, on our nose and that's it. I cannot wait to remove my mustache. It is so bad. You know when somebody looks at you like eye to eye like this? Oh my god, am I focused? They look at you eye to eye, but then they do this. They're like, okay, I'm looking at you in your eye, but then I do this. Like, yeah, I got that a couple times. And I'm just like, it's all good. <laughs> it's okay. Like, I know it's there, but I'm doing it for my people. I'm like, that's all that. That's, that's why it's there. So, but what kills me is when I get it done, that's the one thing that he notices. He's like, oh. Your mustache is gone. It's like, oh my god. So you've been seeing it this entire time. Oh, we got dead. That's disgusting, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways. So before we put on mascara, we're going to set our face real quick. Girl, you're girl. I'm sorry. When I put on blush, it's a game changer. It's a wrap. Okay. Oh my god, it's a miracle I didn't get any makeup on here, but... So now that we set our face, I like to take a clean beauty blender and just kind of make sure everything is all set and good. And then I'm going to take some mascara. And the mascara that I'm going to be using today is 
the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It's what I like to use if I'm not putting on lashes lately. It's really nice and it gives me the full lash effect without putting on any like lashes. And when I do put on false lashes, I like to use this mascara for my bottom lashes. Oh, it defines it so nice, it's so pretty. So now that the mascara is applied, I'm just gonna wipe off the makeup that is caught on my lips and then we're gonna do our lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on some brown lip liner. This is by NYX. I always use this lip liner, but you can use any brown lip liner you have. And I'm just gonna outline my lips and then we're gonna put on some gloss after. Add Abu Dhabi right in the center. And then I'm gonna take my Milani lip gloss. It's called Keep It Full. And I'm just gonna add a little bit to the center. And that is our finished makeup look. I'm kinda happy I decided to do some waves. A lot of you guys voted for the middle part. I'm a side part girl, I'm not gonna lie. I find that the middle part for me is a hit or miss, but I decided to do a middle part because that's what you guys voted for on my Instagram. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love how you guys really liked my last upload. I had so much fun trying on all those dresses. New try on haul videos are on the way, just waiting for some packages. <laughs> but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.